Hey friends, Shay here. So it is time to do another review. This one's going to be a manga review about a volume of manga that truly is going to be, in my opinion, required reading for anyone who reads queer manga. So let's go ahead and dive in. This volume of manga is Boy Meets Maria by Peo. And this... It makes me so sad, but Peyo has passed away, so we won't be getting any new things from Peyo, which makes me so sad because this is truly a stunning story. So let me tell you a little bit about the story here. So we have this young man named Taiga. His dream was to be a hero, but eventually that morphed into being an actor who played heroes over time. So as he enters high school, he wants to sign up for the theater slash drama club. He shows up at the club and he sees this person dancing on stage in a dress and immediately falls in love. He's heard that their name is Maria and he goes chasing after Maria to proclaim his feelings, all of these kinds of things. Well, we find out Maria isn't Maria. It's Amira who is male, has a penis, all those kinds of things. But Essentially, this is a journey about not only Taiga accepting Amira as they are, but Amira learning who they are and how they are comfortable. This is such a stunning piece about gender exploration in a world where people are pushed into pigeonholed into things. It is beautiful to see these two teens explore their feelings not only for each other, but in the situation that they're in, in general, in high school. It also puts their classmates in a situation where they need to decide if they're going to accept these two teens for who they are, or if they're going to judge them by society standards, as Japan is still very closed when it comes to queer matters. This is not only beautifully drawn, like, this is very similar in art style to me to something like Our Dreams at Dusk, but the power of the storytelling is the same. Though Our Dreams at Dusk is very different and a lot darker, there are very similar tones in here. We do see slander towards queer people. We see the Japanese society at large and how they feel about queer people. And this truly bridges that gap and teaches this group of teenagers how to accept people for who they are. Because there are points where Taiga and Amira have conversations where Amira asks, are you in love with the girl side of me or the boy side of me? And they're such poignant conversations. And obviously we're led to Taiga loving Amira no matter who they are and what they decide to be. Dressed as a man, dressed as a woman, they feel the same. And it's amazing. And I love how beautiful and gentle the story the storytelling feels, despite having such heavy tones and topics within it. Um, this is also a clean piece of manga. There's no sexy scenes within it. And I'm okay with that. They are high schoolers. They're just learning about their gender identities themselves. I don't think we need to immediately have them boning each other. So I'm okay that that is not in this particular volume. Um, if we had had an opportunity to have multiple volumes and that came down the road, that would be a really interesting conversation to have at that point. But with where we're at in the, the story in this one volume that we have, it felt unnecessary. And so I'm glad that the mangaka did not force it. I do appreciate the friend group. Taiga's kind of dense. <laughs> In a lot of ways. And he has these two friends who basically lay it out in the most simple terms to make sure he understands how his behavior is affecting those around him. And it's not always easy for Taiga to catch on. He's like I say, he's kind of dense that way, kind of lives in his own dream world. But Amira brings him into reality and Taiga accepts Amira for who they are. And it's amazing. Or Arima? I want to say it's Amira. I can't remember. It's either Amira or Arima. I might have said it wrong, but it's basically the letters of Maria jumbled up. 
into a different, it's Arima. I wanted to double check. So it's Arima, not Amira. Please check my, checking my correction there. But I would not change anything about this story. It's very rare for me to say that a piece of manga is perfect. But to me, this is perfect. I think it addresses every facet that a queer person could be challenged with in a way that is acceptable for anyone. Yes, there is trigger warning for loss of a parent, child abuse, obviously all of the things in queer slander, finding your own identity, depression, anxiety, all of those kinds of things. So this is a heavy piece. But like I say, the gentle way that Peo presents all of these really tough topics is amazing and I love it. Um, so this is a 10 out of 10 would recommend. I do think everybody needs to be reading this particular piece of manga. So with that said, that's all I have for you today. Please read Boy Meets Maria. Support this amazing thing so that anything else that Peo has published, we can get in a translation because this is really important. Though the mangaka is no longer with us, I still want to be supporting their work because what they did was amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're here just because you love me, leave me some sort of pastel colored emoji, whatever makes you happy, and I will see you guys in the next one.